Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating. So, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. So before we get started into this design, there is one thing I want to introduce you to which is Canva Pro. If you are looking at having a lot done in Canva when it comes to removing the background of your images, when it comes to adding more brand kits to your Canva account, when it comes to the point where you are working with multiple clients, when it comes to resizing your Canva design to several dimensions with a click and um, also when it comes to publishing your Canva design to any social media platform of your choice and i think canva pro is the best option for you so the thing is i have a special link in the description box below that can help you to try canva pro for free for 30 days what are you looking for kindly check the description box below to get started with your canva pro so without any much ado let's dive into canva and let's get started with today's design okay so you can see this is what we are going to be creating today and it's very easy and very simple trust me you the first thing we are going to do is on my side i'll just have to click on add a page okay but you would have to create a new dimension um a new design sorry and choose the dimension 1080 by 1350. after you do that come into photos okay and search for clouds okay that's what you have to search for and you see there's so many interesting images over here so this is the image i actually use so i'll click on it right click and set the image as background okay so after i do that i will double click on the image and i would you know move it all the way here so that i can have something like this after you've been able to add your images what you'd have to do is you would have to visit the element of the african gigs.com it's a website i created to um, add any additional elements you do not find in canvas so go on there and search for floating island okay and that should help you to get this particular png you see on the screen you should be able to get that over there so download it and upload it in canva then proceed with um you know the next steps in this tutorial okay so i already have it in my upload so all i just have to do is to find it okay so i would scroll down you know just a little bit to find the floating island i am looking for okay so this is it okay so i would position it here and i would increase the size of it so that i can have something like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i will duplicate it okay and with this one i will just crop it so that i can only have you know this bottom part of it then with this one i would also crop it so you can see what i'm doing then i'll reduce the size of this and i would have it somewhere here okay so this is very easy and very simple then the next thing we are going to do is first of all lock let's lock this thing so lock it and um, it should just be there so that we do not move things around okay so press r on your keyboard for a rectangle or a square and just in case your arrow is missing what you can do is to come to elements in elements search for line and shapes as you can see over here and select this square um shape you can see so what we are going to do is to create a frame okay so something very simple let me zoom in okay something very simple then what we are going to do is we'll change the color to white so once you change the color to white this is how it's going to look you know the color of white already okay now come back into element and search for grid okay so you select this grid over here then we come to resize it okay so i would resize this grid as you can see and i would position it here and position it here then i bring it to the front okay so that we can have something like this okay so you can see what we've been able to create over here so i will select all of it and before i do anything else there's one more thing i would love to add so go back to the element website and search for shadows okay and you'd find this shadow you can see on my screen and um, we are going to add it to make our grid look very interesting okay so let's dive back into canva and let's proceed so i'm just going to find the shadow i was referring to okay so i just would scroll down and i'll even skip the whole part of me trying to find it three days later so you can see this is the grid i was referring to okay so i would increase the size okay then i would crop it this way 
and make sure you don't drag it into the photo frame else it will just drop into the photo frame okay so we would first of all rotate it okay something like this 180 minus 180 and we will drop it here but in this case we would you know reduce the size okay and use your arrow key to drop it down so you can see this part is not too good okay so it's looking very good then reduce the transparency just a little bit okay so you can see how it's looking now the funny thing is we are not able to group all of this together i raised this issue up to canva but i think you know they, they didn't really understand what i was referring to when it comes to a photo um grid like this and a shape you are not able to group them together and i don't really know why so what we are going to do is we'd rather group the shadow and the shape okay so we'll group it together and we'll send it to the back so that the grid would be on top okay so now we select everything and reduce the size slightly okay now this is what we are going to do duplicate the entire thing lift you know don't lift but increase the size of this then select this one and rotate it you know something like this then this one can come here you know something small then duplicate this rotate it this way okay and you can drop it here and also send it to the back if you want you know like how i did over here so this is what i did so i select all and drop it down over here then i move it to the back okay so you can see how this is looking right now very easy and very simple so now what you want to do is to go into photos and search for maybe city okay so you can search for city and you'd find so many interesting images over there i think let me unlock this one else i wouldn't be able to place this and let me drop it down so that we can just fill these things up so you click on this and drop it in here click on this any photo at all you want okay and just drop them in you understand very nice very easy very simple you can see how all of these things are looking very interesting okay so now the other thing or the last thing we are going to do is to add you know an airplane and maybe some text okay so there was this airplane i added you'd also find it in the element websites okay so i will just increase the size and drop it down a little bit over here okay then i will just select everything because i don't want things to be looking too big so i reduce it slightly you know position it here okay then we can have it like this then what we are going to do is i would um, drop this down a little bit and you can just add your text so maybe i'll just copy you know my text copy all of them and paste them here okay then you send it behind the airplane okay so that this is how it's going to look and you can see i added this thing over here which is optional but if you really want to do all you have to do is to come to element in element just search for ticket okay okay so you search for tickets and you see all of these things over here so just come to graphics and in graphics yes this is the one i used so i will just drop it down here let me zoom in so that you can see then i duplicate it and um maybe with the back or the one behind i can make it white if you want or you can change the color to match your design so i can just maybe pick any color over here okay then i'll change this one to white okay and place it right on top of your um you know of your design then what you have to do is to click on any of the corners and press out then reduce it slightly so you have something like this oh no okay so you have something like this then you can add all the text you want but in this case i'm just going to copy come that you know and paste it over here so this is all i did so you can see this is what we were able to do inside of canva i hope this was very easy for you and very simple so thank you so much for staying tuned to you know to this part of the tutorial and there's one thing i want you to help me with so there's this series i came up with which is the canva design critique and um just in case you want me to you know improve on your design or critique your design just send the editable link of your design to benjaminmino at gmail.com so that i can just you know make a video of me critiquing and improving upon 
your design and if you also want to find future videos on this channel there are about three things you have to do the first one is to hit on the subscribe button the second one is to hit on the bell icon and the third one is to check the channel for more interesting canva tutorials the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video